Located right beside the stairs is the access panel, which I've removed for the back of the water heater. Let's give you a look there. And if you look straight down there, you'll see the valve, bypass valve. So if you're winterizing the trailer, you can switch that to bypass and drain the water heater. Over here, you can see that, that shiny um, tube going down is coming from the furnace, which lives next door and down into the underbelly. And a whole slew of electrical wires and plumbing. But pretty easy access. Here I'll show you the, the guts of the refrigerator. There's an access panel on the outside. And basically no corrosion. Nothing looks like it's gotten overly hot. Everything's been good. In there, every once in a while I'll just clean it out, make sure no spiders have gotten in there or any debris. That's been pretty easy to maintain. Down here we have the water heater. Same thing, not too much corrosion showing or any overheating or nothing getting too hot. Um, up here we have the the safety release valve, pressure release valve, and it does its job. If the pressure builds too much, it'll drip a bit of water down. And right in here, the anode, I've had to change it once. And in here, you can access the element. I've pulled it out and cleaned it once also. And down, I don't know if you can see here, but that's the on off switch. Which I guess it would be a little more convenient if it was inside the trailer. But so every time I want to turn the electric on or off, I have to come and switch this switch. But that's really no big deal. Other than that, it's worked great.